There's a mixture for Ruth carrying his own. He's gonna prime it a couple times with this guy here. So to bring it in, avionics is off. Go ahead and start. Clear. Runway 1836 between runway 9 or center and taxiway Echo is closed aircraft with a wingspan more than 7 9 or feet. Runway 9 or center between taxiway Mike and runway 1836 is closed to taxiing aircraft with a wingspan more than 7 9 or feet. Tower light out of service 3 nautical miles northwest, 187 feet MSL. Tower light out of service 3.7 nautical miles west northwest, 288 feet MSL. Clearance delivery is closed. All departures contact ground control 121.35. The tower frequencies for runways 9 or left is 120.3. The tower frequency for runways Niner Center and runway Niner Right is 135.25. All aircraft inbound to the Sanford Airport contact Orlando Approach, 135.3. Advise on initial contact, you have information, Bravo. Sanford Tower information, Bravo, 1953 Zulu observation, when 160 at Niner, visibility 10, clear, temperature 28, dew point 11, altimeter 29998. ILS approach, runway Niner left, ILS approach, runway Niner right in use, landing and departing, runway Niner left, runway Niner center, and runway Niner right. Approaches are being conducted to parallel and intersecting runways. Use caution for numerous birds on and about the airport. Notice to airmen, runway 1836 is closed except for taxi operations. Taxiway Charlie between runway 1836 and taxiway Papa. Is closed. Taxiway Papa is I closed. missed the altimeter setting. Did you enter that area? Oh, nice. Runway Niner Center is closed. Runway 136 right. between Runway Niner Center and Taxiway Echo. <laughs> the heck? Okay, uh, 29998. Yep. Okay, that's set, that's set. This is all good, and those these are all turning and banking in the correct direction. Okay, go ahead and do a little run up here, make sure everything is hunky dory. Okay, suction good, gauges are in the green, ammeter good. One two drop, good. One two rise, good. One drop, one rise, good. Carb heat, drop, rise. Drop, idle, carb heat on, good, off, 800 to 1,000, lean. I'm going to do a uh, uh, soft, soft field takeoff, so we'll do flaps at 10, indicating 10. Aircraft off at Romeo, uh, taxi uh, ahead then to same, hold Same as we briefed before. Uh, abnormality prior to rotation, I'll board on the runway and by the tower. Anything after Roger. rotation will land straight ahead, wings level or airspeed, 500 feet airspeed, and uh, 500 feet altitude and airspeed permitting will return somewhere on the airport. Uh, we'll be taking off runway probably 9 left, so we do have a hot spot here. We'll probably get Bravo, or Kilo Bravo, Bravo 2. Turn left. At Lima and hold short, runway nine or seven. Clearance here. All right, uh, Bravo what, straight ahead. What, what was the information again? Uh, Bravo. 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 That's what I thought. One ninety two. Bucky four five eight. Caution jet blast. Continue. Bravo. Uh, kilo right side. Bravo kilo right side behind. Attention, all aircraft. Information. Charlie is current at Sanford altimeter two nine er nine er nine er. Sanford Ground, good afternoon. Skyhawk Niner 7650, spot 5, information Charlie, looking for VFR to the northwest, 2500. That's the Niner 7650, maintain VFR out or below, 1500, departure frequency 135.3, squawk 0344. Okay, VFR at or below 1,500, departure 135.3, squawk 0344650, and we are ready to taxi, spot 5. Number 97650, read back is correct, runway 9 or left at Bravo 2, taxi via Kilo, Bravo, Bravo 2, maintain right side. Okay, Kilo, Bravo, Bravo 2 on the right side to 9 or left at Bravo 2, 650. Okay, here we go. I wonder where that Airbus is going. Another lap in the pattern. <laughs> <laughs>
You ever seen that uh, air, air, uh, airline training facility down in the Everglades? No. They have a 10,000... Sanford ground, hold for push. Oh, the inbound to gate yeah, they got a they got a 10,000 foot runway in the middle of the Everglades with nothing around it. Turnway Niner Center, continue to ramp via Charlie. For some reason, I thought you were talking about like a airline simulator center. Oh like yeah, no. Twenty-one sixteen. When you see your company pull into eleven, push back from twelve is approved onto Charlie. All right, we'll get way to eleven, and once he's clear, we'll push onto Charlie's in twenty-one sixteen. Ground damage at 867, clear on Bravo 3, going to Millionaire. Damage at 867, Sanford ground taxi via Bravo and Kilo to the Millionaire ramp. Bravo Kilo to the Millionaire. So just remember to do your passenger briefing. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I skipped all that today just because I'm in a hurry. I know. So I just wanted to remind you in case you forgot. Perfect. It. Thank you. I appreciate it. Charlie Foxtrot, is it Romeo and Niner Center, taxi southwest ramp? Centurion 21 Charlie Foxtrot, Sanford Ground Taxi to the ramp via Romeo Bravo Kilo, maintain right side all taxiways. Romeo Bravo Kilo, right side, 211 Charlie Foxtrot. Bucky 680, safe target, Tinia. Tinia, Bucky 680. Freaking hauling ass. Yeah. Float. Ooh. Ooh, that's squirrely. Sanford Tower, error. Skyhawk 97650 holding short of 9 or left at Bravo 2, ready for departure. 97650, safe tower, hold short, we're on your left. Hold short, 9 or left, uh, 650. 682, try Bravo 3, contact ground. Right down Bravo 3, to ground back 682. Wait. 97650, turn left to 050, hold nine left at Bravo 2, clear for takeoff. Okay, left to uh, heading 050, nine or left at Bravo 2, clear for takeoff. 97650. Okay, doors and windows, mixture full rich, lights are all coming on. Okay, Rumble. 680. Way is identified, the flight timer is started. Around, started. Looking for a minimum of uh, 2,300 RPM. Great day, I have to go ahead and complete. Bucky 311, safe hey, continue. short field approach, Continue's simulating a soft field, so I'm holding, do you want to watch your iPad here? On yeah, sure. The, um, elevator back pressure, keep the airplane rolling in case the ground is soft. Get lined up on the center line here, heels to the floor, and I'm going to go full power. I'm going to get this thing into uh, ground effect here as quick as I can. There it is, right there. There it is, okay. Hold it in ground effect. I'm going to accelerate to VX 60 knots. I'm going to climb out at VX. She likes to have me climb like this to simulate clearing obstacles, so it's kind of like a short field and a soft field. Yeah. <laughs> Obstacle cleared, lower the nose now. I'm going to accelerate um, to VY, but I'm also going to retract my flaps now that we've got positive rate going. I'm up, there's 76, I'm going to climb out at 76 now to 500 feet before I begin my turn to 050. Yeah, 050, 1500 or below. Okay. There's 400. Okay, there's 500 feet. My gauges are still all in the green, so I'm going to begin my turn. Zero, right there, lead it but just a bit, roll out. Okay, 1,500, zero, 050. I use these just as like... Six, six, five, zero. Contact or land departure. Go into departure, 650. Okay, tell me, Abby. I thought four is not found. Okay, 
And departure, good afternoon, Skyhawk 9 or 7650, Office Sanford 900 for 1500, heading 050. Buggy 544, contact temperature, 120.3, thank you for your help. Power, good day, Buggy 544. November 9, 7650, London departure, continue via far, climb 2500, ident. Okay, continue via far, climb 2500, there's your flash, 650. Number 242, Bravo Zulu, continue via far, descend on a 4500. 10, 4500, Bravo Zulu. Number 2, Papa Golf, just to verify, what's your request at altitude now? Uh, we had to go up to 6,500 for weather. Two up a golf, Roger that. Give me aircraft type again. Cessna C-162, Skycatcher. Skycatcher? Yeah. It's about two engines. No, it's the, it's the light sport. So oh, it's the side sport. Contact two miles northeast of the Stanford Airport. We're going to to the northeast to prove. Okay, we uh, we had actually asked for uh, northwest uh, for 650. 650, okay, no problem. Direction uh, northwest, bounds approved at 2500, please. Okay, northwest at uh, 2500, 650. 24658. Yeah, that thing is so weird because the side stick is the AOR. 24658. Oh, really? Yeah. Skyway 658 here. 658, you going to start your VFR climb now? They Skyway had, 658, um, we're working on it, thank you. They had that at my old place as well. So approach, lucky 329, we have Charlie requesting Monroe for Stanford. Okay, we're going northwest, we're going to do our climb checklist, obstacles cleared, best rate at 76, cruise climb 80 to 85. It is a hot day, so I'm going to lower the nose here just a little bit. Climb at 80, uh, gauges are still in the green. Up to 2.5. Lucky 460, turn right hand 360, to maintain 1,600. 360, 1,600, lucky 460. Lucky 329, your radar contact, 8 miles north of the Stanford Airport, indicating 1,500. We'll learn our two minutes, 3,000, clear Monroe arrival. Clear one row, arrival, Bucky 329. Number 162, Papa Golf, and you got two options. Either track uh, towards Sanford, then the shoreline southbound, or you can go, uh, go like, a one, like a 180 heading for now to get away from Orlando International Traffic. I can go, I can go SFB, uh, Sierra Fox Drop Bravo, then direct to uh, East Coast, if that works for you. We should have some traffic coming in here on the VFR uh, arrival uh, uh, below us. And, uh, one yeah. zero five. Left hitting 105, below us. Us. Land approach, Skyhawk 75829, or inbound to Sanford with Charlie and we're crossing Monroe. Buggy 322, contact Deptile 120.3. Buggy 329, contact Deptile 120.3. Over to tower, Buggy 329, thank you. Buggy 460, turn right hand 065. I don't have them in sight, but they're a thousand people. Buggy 460. Antiquated truck and are not antiquated, but uh, like a like an X brand autopilot in his airplane. Uh -huh. and it's like not user intuitive at all. Really? Seven five eight two nine. Seven five eight two nine. The best way to describe it is: Have you ever had a like a cheap electronic thing? Seven five eight two nine. Watch clock zero three two three. It has like a bunch of functions, but it only has one button on it. Yeah, it, and it's it's super confusing to like do everything with yeah. one button. That's how the autopilot is. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do our cruise checklist here right now. Power set, throttle friction, lawn lights is acquired. Instrument set, mixture lean. So we're gonna land approach, right landing 19, lights off. Level at two thousand five hundred. Lean this guy out a little bit. Four nineteen on approach. Roger that. Maintain vehicle power set. Friction lawn is three zero zero zero. Uh, instruments are all good. Gauges in the green. Perfect. Little 419, we're heading to Sebring, Sierra, Echo, Foxtrot. I just saw a bug die. Did you? On the windshield, yeah. <laughs> maintain your so high up. Now. Maintain heading, Little 419. I didn't know there were bugs at 2500. Radar service turn, Squawk 1200, free change approved. Okay, Squawk VFR, free change approved, 650. We're 24658, continue VFR, comment 3500. Yeah, I didn't know they were up that high either. either. Or it could have been water, maybe, and it just hit at the same time. <laughs> Same spot. Okay, so I'm going to go just a little bit more here, and as soon as we're well clear of his airspace, I'm going to do some chandelles on the way up. I believe our wind is from the south today, not that it really matters for a chandelle. Uh, so I'll chandelle up to 4,000 feet, and then we'll do lazy eights. We'll do, my, do the stalls, and then we'll do an emergency descent to 3,500, so it's only okay. 500 feet, and then from 3,500 feet we will do a spiraling descent okay. down to 
uh, the field, which is right, um, uh, where's the, I'm missing the field right now, over there. Oh yeah, it's on the other side of uh, Lake Beersford over there. Okay. So the field will spiral down over that, then I'll do eights on pylons. Um, am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. And then we'll go back and do a couple landings. If we have time, I'd like to do a flapless landing at Spruce Creek over here. Okay. That'd be a really cool video. You should save some battery for that because the um, it's a really cool place. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. You fly right over the top of these multi-million dollar houses on the way in. So really? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to turn to a heading of north. This is a clearing turn. What I'm doing here, we'll, you know, dub it as a clearing turn anyways. So, looks clear below. I don't see any, uh, don't see any traffic. So I'm going to start out at VA. So VA is going to be 2200 RPMs. My strat is disconnected again here, so traffic is... Oh yeah, you don't have it either now. Do I have you? a Century Mini though. Do you want me to hook yeah, it up? I might think have probably. to. I, I was fighting with this yesterday, and do you want to borrow mine for the check ride? I don't mind at all. I'm probably not going to fly. Uh, I might have to. I, I I don't know what the issue is, whether it's with this or it's with something else. Yeah, you can totally borrow mine. Okay, one sec. I can l let me try and reconnect this once here and see if we can get it fired off. And I'm descending. Do you think it's a battery? No, there. See, it's 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 back up now. I don't know. It just it comes up and says Stratus disconnected. Like I don't know what the fuck's up with that. But I better have yours just as backup. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so back up to 2500 because I was yakking, and we do have some traffic 600 feet above us over here, but uh, they're moving away from us, so that shouldn't be an issue just yet, anyways. All right, yeah, I'm connected now, too, so. Okay, I'm looking for that traffic. Now. Okay, I got him in sight over here, so I'm actually going to turn to a heading of west. I don't want to get too close to the land. So I'm doing this, so. Another clearing turn. Okay, lights on, gauges are all on the green. Everything should be, everything should be cool here. I had a wasp in the cockpit one time. Oh like, my son gosh. Of a bitch, like trying to get the thing out of there. That's horrible. Okay, 2200 RPMs, we're trimmed out, straight and level, everything looks pretty good. Might be climbing just a hair, but okay, area is clear. That traffic up there shouldn't be a factor. We have somebody 1500 feet above us to the right over here. Yeah, I won't be able to see them with the wing, but. Wow. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Shandell to the left then, because he's. Fuck, what is he doing? God damn it. Well. Looks like he might be going to Sanford. So maybe it'll... Orange City Practice Area, red and white Skyhawk. Uh, west, uh, about two miles west of, uh, east of Lake Beersford. 2,500 Shandells going up. Hey, do you have that traffic in sight? I'm looking for him. One o'clock. Only 500 feet above us. Yeah. That sucks. Oh, I got him in sight. Come on, man. I just want to do my maneuvers here. really hazy. It is. Okay, it should be clear now. And I'll keep an eye out on this guy, uh, the guy that's 1,400 feet above us. Now there's above somebody us. else 2,300 feet above us over here. This fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, but I think 2,300 is fine. Yeah, I'm going up to 4,000, though. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, then. Son of a bitch. 
I've got it in sight. Wow, look at that. Three airplanes. See the two airliners? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, he's past us. Visually, at least. This other guy is still circling around here, so... And you got the tower up ahead, just so you know. Orange City Practice Area, Red and White Skyhawk. Well, east shore of Lake Beers for 2,500 Shandells going up. Okay, whatever. I'm doing one to the left here. Okay, so I'm going to go 30 degrees of bank. I'm going to go full power, staying coordinated, and pulling up. 90 degree point, I'll lock in that pitch and slowly unroll my bank. Right above the stall, stay coordinated. There's momentarily avoid a stall, a little out. That traffic is no factor anymore. He's a thousand feet above us, behind us. I saw it. Okay. Back to 2200. Okay, I'm going to do one to the right now. Okay, we're back to VA here. Let's things stabilize. Lake Park Practice Area, White Archer, Bucky 541 over the North Shore, Lake Popka, 3,800. We're doing uh, Lake the Eights, Popka. Okay, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. That's just side 452 at Grumby, that's 3 to the south of Mass, see through 4,300 feet, Shondelling north, northeast path now. Over to Lake, uh, over to Peebles, so like actually two and a half miles to the northwest, 4,500 feet descending, two spirals. Okay, momentarily avoiding the stall. Level. Head away, Buggy 331, about five to the southeast of 2019 Charlie, heading northbound, 2500. Please Yeah, do another one to the left now. Okay, so the way this goes is talk my way through it again. We're going to go simultaneously pitch up and start rolling in. We're going to go full throttle, 30 degrees of bank, and pitch up, pitch up, steady bank, increasing pitch, staying coordinated, increasing pitch, increasing pitch, until at my 90 degree point I'm at my maximum pitch, and then I start to unroll the bank. Holding the pitch, we're staying coordinated. Need a ton of right rudder here, almost to the floor. Unrolling, unrolling this, unrolling this, more right rudder, more right rudder, more right rudder, there we go, there we go, and we're back level, momentarily avoiding a stall. The left chandelle needs more right rudder than the other one because of the, you were telling me last time and I was so confused. Because of the, you know, the left turning tendencies yeah. of the airplane, yeah. Makes sense though. Okay, I'm going to do another one to... Another one to the right now. Orange City Practice Area, Red and White Skyhawk, East Shore, Lake Beersford, 3,500 Shandells, still going up. Okay. So to the right. We're going to go 30 degrees of pitch. Or I'm sorry, 30 degrees of bank. Massey practice area, Skyhawk, 424, about Increasing 5 miles pitch. southeast of Massey, doing slow flight at 3,000. There's my 90 degree point. Lock in that pitch and start unrolling the bank, very slowly. Start unrolling the bank, staying coordinated, staying coordinated, staying coordinated, staying coordinated. There we go, right there. No other knows. Okay, there's 4,200 feet, that's good. Okay, now we're going to do lazy eights. We have somebody yeah. 800 feet below us, I see. The air's a lot cooler up here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're back to VA. 15 degrees cooler. I was yeah. watching the thermometer. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Because I thought there was an inversion. Oh, yeah, haze, sure. But I was wrong. Okay, wait for this guy to go by us, and we're going to do lazy eights.
Yeah, our feet below us to the right. You got in sight yet? Nope. Five, five, two. Right, this is a white tail Skyhawk. We're at 17. Got up in sight. 1,700 feet. Behind us. Oh yeah, and there he is. Three miles to the west of Massey, and we're going to be doing shut downs. Uh, South Carolina area. Southside Bucky Hattie, had a white Skyhawk Bucky 331, currently about seven to the southwest of Lake Bridgebridge, heading northbound at 2,100, Orange City. Orange City practice area, red and white tail Skyhawk, west, uh, sick correction, east shore of Lake Beersford, 4,000 feet to Lazy Eights. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go to the right first. So, okay. Start, I'm looking for traffic. Start out about, I want to start out about, uh, well, whatever, that'll, that'll work. That's not a huge deal. So, okay, lazy eight. So, we're going to pitch up. Imperceivable amount of bank in the direction I want to go. Stay coordinated. There we go. Slowly, very slowly let that go. On, there's my 90 degree point, which is going to be the lowest nose low point. Okay, back to our original altitude. That one was kind of sloppy. I didn't like that. And then we're going to go right back up into Mark another Mark area. One Archer Buck, Mach 41, northwest corner of Lake Apopka. Simulated engine out to, uh, down to the fields to the northwest of Lake Apopka. Apopka. Pretty sure that was my examiner. Really? <laughs> yeah. Doing like PTSD. Did it sound like him? <laughs> yeah. One thirty five thirty at back, four three seven, Echo Real Man is about two miles south to land, three thousand five hundred square foot. Let that nose just slice through the horizon there. At this point in the maneuver, you basically have to do nothing, right? Just keep it. Uh, every everything is kind of changing simultaneously, so you're unrolling your bank here slowly. Oh, okay. But yeah, you 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 let the uh, airplane do a lot of the work. Just. I like this compass. Yeah, right? Super nice. I need a haircut. <laughs> That's what hair? this flight is teaching me. <laughs> this wind. Lake Park Rex area, White Archer, Lucky 541. We are we on got the traffic. Uh, we'll be doing ground reference in the fields. Off our right wing. Of Lake Popka. 800 our feet of below. It just popped up out of nowhere. I don't know why they're flying towards us. I'm looking for them. I've got them in sight. They're pretty close to us. You see them? Yep. The skydivers. Massey back there. Massey back there. Skyhawk four. Sky 410. Echo Romeo. We're about six miles south of his and I have 3,100 doing slow flight. Orange City practice area, Ren Whitetail Skyhawk, east shore of Lake Beersford, 4,000 Lazy Eights. That's Emory Riddle. Yeah. Of course, Skyhawk 291 Hotel Whiskey, about right over Lake Woodruff, 3,700 doing four fundamentals to Woodruff. Four fundamentals. Well, I'm sick of dealing with this. I gotta, I don't have time for this, so. We'll have to do the stalls and then get it over with. Okay, I guess I'll do stalls on this heading here, so... Slow flight.
the same dude. I don't know what he's doing. Four three seven. Back pressure got four two four Echo Romeo. We are five miles to the south of Massey over the river. Duly installed two thousand nine hundred. You want to turn to the right? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. It almost seems like he's chasing us, doesn't it? Pissing me off, though. Yeah. That same guy. All right, you're good. I had to climb back up to 4,000 here. Okay. Sure, push your head out, watch. Fire buggy 331, currently about... not climbing at all. Five miles northwest will be on CDM 10, I'm heading southbound. Descending from 2,000 miles. It's not barely fucking moving. Ashby back to Terry, right on my sky. About three to the east of Lake Ashby, 3,700 BAI. Okay, there we go. Okay. Friday uh, White Tail Skyhawk, right over uh, Massey Airport, 3100, slow flight, South Friday's Area. 135 Terry Skyhawk, 437 Echo Romeo, 7 South to land, 3400 stalls. Oh, he's, he's doing, doing stalls. stalls. Jinx. <laughs> he's no factor. Okay. Orange City Practice Area, Red and White Tail Skyhawk, directly south of Lake Beersford, 4,000, doing stalls. Okay. Anyways, I'll simulate a, uh, a landing stall here. So, establish 65 knots. Okay. So there we are, we're coming into land. Car heat is on. Area is clear. Fuck, we got somebody 1,300 feet below. I can't do... Mass director is on 424 Romeo. We are five miles south of Massey. 3, you want to go a little bit? This is this is really frustrating me. These guys just, like, there's no fucking room out here. Yeah. Look at this, he freaking... I, I think if you turn towards the east, no space there now. I'm, I'm not going back there though, because my field is right here. Oh yeah, okay. Um, I'll, I'll keep an eye on the traffic. So, well, he, I can't do a stall here with somebody right below me like that though. He's he's kind of far away though. I'm looking for him. Riddle 331, you up? No. That's one three five six five four three seven Echo Romeo nine south to land three thousand four hundred south. I gotta go back to the east now. He's fucking head. following one me around. Down. This is Bucky three three one Australia about three to the. That's Bucky uh, three three one. West west of Lake Bridgeburg heading northbound at two thousand five hundred Orange City. Okay, Bucky 331, red and white tailed Skyhawk directly over Lake Beersford four thousand doing stalls. Do that. Uh, stay at two thousand five hundred heading northbound. There's no wind effect. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty far away. You're good. Okay, let's try this here now. Okay, so simulating a departure stall. Pitch down, 65 knots. 65 knots. There it is. We're going to go power idle, and I'm going to stall this bitch. Staying coordinated, staying coordinated. Warning. Lake back, uh, back to the area, one urge bucket, 541, to the horizon. northwest corner of Lake of Pops, got a one And recover. We're turning to I the didn't have the car beyond, the car beyond. Hold and continue. Up. That one was actually pretty decent, it fell really evenly, yeah. just right down. That was perfect. Okay, so now, 
And the buffet was pretty intense. Yeah, it was. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I'm going to do a power on stall. Okay, so this will be like a departure stall. So slow this thing down to. Happy practice area, Skyhawk 434 Echo Romeo. Rotate about speed 55. Two miles south of New Smyrna, about to do stall. 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 Okay, Skyhawk, a couple miles south okay. of Massey 3500. Power on stalls. Warning. Stall. That one wasn't very good. Have you recovered though? I think that's all that really matters. <laughs> yeah. You don't recover inverted, right? Yeah. The fucking guy's using my field down there too. They're not judging you on how to stall a plane. That would be like so weird if I did that. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta I gotta try one more of those. As much as I hate it, I gotta do it. Hey, Lake Park, back Surrey R1, R2, Bucky 541. Now, two miles to the northwest of Lake Apopka, we'll be doing a VFR hold at Tinu, which is just to the north of Lake Apopka at 2,000 feet. Okay, full Lake power. Warning. Stall. I don't like how it drops to the side so much like that. Yeah. Mass back here, Skyhawk 410, Echo Romeo, up about 500 miles to the southeast, uh, 3000. We will be doing some um, power off stalls. Yeah, I think it's acceptable. Yeah, I mean, you're it's good. Not, yeah. Okay, last one I want to do is the accelerated stall. Oh, and then steep turns I got to do too. I mean, what do the standards say in the ACS? It says, it says maintain your heading, but I don't think it talks about during the recovery process, just during, like, during, you know, during the stall. Okay. So, I don't know. I think that's just so you don't get in a spin. <laughs> yeah, right, right, exactly. So, okay, so I'm going to do the accelerated stall. So we do clearing turns, everything good there. We're going to go carb heat on. We're going to start this at or below VA. So, we're going to roll into a 45 degree bank, pull back, warning, recover, that's it, that's all it takes. Yep. Okay, so then we'll do, we'll do a set of steep turns and then we'll do the emergency descent. Hope I'm not making you sick. No, you're not. Okay. You're good. It was funny, I thought you were doing steep turns and I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, then I realized. East of the Orange City Towers, returning northbound at 2,500. Orange City. Oh, he's he's coming north now. Yeah. You should probably just make a call. Orange City practice area, Red White Tail Skyhawk, three miles north of the Orange City antennas, 4,000 feet, steep turns. Okay, so area is clear, lights are on, everything's good there. We're gonna do one to the left and then one to the right. So we're gonna go ahead and roll into a 50, 50 degree bank. Give it a little bit of power here. One, two rolls. 50 two, two rolls? Or yeah, two, so. Wow, yeah. I do one. Oh really? Yeah, I mean that could be a different thing with a different Okay, we're, we're descending here, so I'm correcting. Correcting that, I don't wanna descend too much. Staying coordinated, 50 degrees. Just let that nose slice through the horizon there. Slicing through the horizon. 4,100 feet. Going around. Matt, got, got four, five, two, going around. Coming out, rolling out on south. south. Uh, and then I'm going to go right into the, one to the right. So, uh, 7,000 feet using the shoreline uh, for steep spiral. 7,000 down to about 5,000. Look out below, mass traffic. Uh, 424 Romeo, about two miles to the south west of Mass 
speed, we're 4,000 and 2,000, we're gobbled up. A little bit high, so we're pitching down there. I think this one was better than the first one. Yeah. This is a one maneuver I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then we're... Entry Park to Chess, Kyle, full tree, four, I call, we're tree, talk to 200, we're talking about tree to the southeast, south end, ranch, airport over the river. It's within oh. passing, it's 50 feet, so, yeah. Don't stress yourself out too much. Got it. Today should be built about building confidence more than anything now. Uh, Bucky 331, you up? 331, you up. Yeah, how much longer are you going to be using that field over there on the west shore of uh, Lake Beersford? Uh, actually, we'll make a left heading southbound and then we'll descend to 1500. Yeah, it's going to be like uh, five more minutes. Copy. You want to pull zero G's? <laughs> 2000. <laughs> 2000. Kyle, pull one zero to Romeo. We're about four east of Massey over the shoreline, southbound, doing power off stalls at 3200. Okay, I'm going to set over here and get set up for my. Mass Drive Sky Hope 452 Echo Remy, we're about uh, 3 miles to the east of Tully, 7,000 feet over the shoreline, steep spiral, 7,000 down to about 5,000, we'll go up below Mass Traffic. How do you know the name of this lake? Because it's not on the sectional. Uh, my instructor told me. Okay. It's Beers, B-E-R-E-S-F-O-R-D. Beers. Sky 437 Echo Remy is in the field, so about... To the west of I don't think I'm going to be able to use my fields today. You said five minutes, right? Yeah, but 4 437's over there now, too. Yeah. You should just tell them you have a check ride tomorrow and <laughs> see what they say. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, why are they so close to each other? That's not safe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. like about Craig's area. Why don't you buck 541? We are done holding it to you. We'll be shooting the RM Alpha into you, Matilda. Change your frequencies. That was definitely my examiner. No, no shit, huh? Hold that tenue, shooting, yeah. That sounds like him. Must be doing a check ride for someone then. Yeah. Yep. It has to be him. Okay, I'm going to do my emergency descent right here. Happy practice area, Skyhawk 434, right. Echo Romeo, uh, 3700, about... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm Smyrna, not the emergency descent, I'm just going to steep spiral from here. So, okay. Um... Sure, but you had a uh, Sky Buggy 331, we got the reader inside, we're just heading to 1100. We'll be heading okay, uh, beam my point uh, here. Let's go. We're gonna go. Car beat on. Area is clear. We're gonna go. Four twenty four. You guys using the fields by Tully? A couple little rolls of trim. And I'm gonna pitch for eighty knots. We're going four twenty four. We're going uh, back in. Okay, so you guys are not using the fields right below you right now. Shoot. Oh, uh, nigga. Uh, stop practice area traffic, white-tailed Skyhawk is at 2,000, we're uh, on the north end of the restricted shelf. We're going to be descending into the fields by Tully Air Park for ground reference maneuvers, 1,000 feet. Okay, the wind is from the south, I believe, today, so I have to shallow up my bank over here now. Down, I'll keep this going around 80 knots.
think they're leaving the fields, by the way. Okay. Yeah. It's like they're formation flying or something. Yeah. <laughs> Following each other. Now yeah, one more circle to do here. Looking good on breadcrumbs. Is it not bad? Yeah, not bad. Okay. Orange City traffic, White Archer, four miles to the east of the Orange City Towers, headed northwest bound, 2,500 Orange City traffic. Okay. That was three turns. Oh yeah, that was a nice tight circle there. Well, the last one wasn't. Well, the first one wasn't so good. Yeah, I think the blue, the wind blew you a little on the first one. I've got the traffic in sight. Uh, LRE, or, yeah, 437. Right there, okay. I don't know if you can see them. Sure. Well, this we could do a... We could do an emergency descent here, I guess. Massey Travis, track 45 Kilo Romeo's 3 to the south, east of Massey, 6,500 feet. Setting up for steep spirals, look out below Massey traffic. You've got it on site, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Orange City practice area, red and white tail Skyhawk. Going to be using the open fields to the west shore of Lake Beersford uh, at or below 1,000 ground reference maneuvers. Okay, so we could do we could do an emergency descent here. We could simulate that. So we want greater than 100 knots and 30 to 40 degrees of bank. Then you can roll it out the other direction. Keeping positive G's on the airplane is the point of that maneuver right there. So. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Okay, where's my field? I'm missing it here. It's to the... Oh, it's right there. Why do you want to keep positive G's on the airplane? Uh, because the airplane, they say, you know, is not designed to handle many negative G's. Uh -huh. So in a situation like that, you know, in case there's a wind gust or something at a high rate of speed like that, I guess you don't want a bunch of negative G's. Okay. So. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to use this field over here. For my lazy or eights on pylons. All of your lights are on, right? Yep, everything's Perfect. turned on. So we're doing that was our clearing turn. Keeping an eye out on this dude, 437. Okay, set ourselves up at 2200 RPMs here and kind of check my speed on the way through here and see what we got for speed. Twenty two hundred RPMs, we're doing about ground speed about ninety. Eighty seven knots. Eighty eight knots, okay. Got my handy pivotal altitude chart here. <laughs> Ninety knots, about six hundred and sixty or seven hundred and seven sixty seven. Okay, and then I'm going to turn back around and check it to go on the other way. Or no, 85 knots maybe? Yeah, we're more like 85 knots, so 700. 700 going this way. No traffic so far. Amazing. Glad. Yep. 
Orange City practice area, Red and White Tail Skyhawk, west shore of Lake Beersford on the open fields, ground reference maneuvers, out or below 1,000. Made me feel like I was in Tampa. Sea area, Skyhawk 434. Why is that? Oh, with all the traffic? Yeah. Four miles south of Massey, okay. 3,500 stalls. What's my ground speed on this end? Oh, much faster. We're descending too, though, so about, about 95. I'm sorry, what are you doing? 900 feet. <laughs> uh, figuring out the pivotal the pivotal altitude. <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's the altitude at which, a, at a given ground speed, you can put your wing on a point and just rotate around it and not it won't oh, move. Okay. It, it changes with altitude, or it changes with ground speed. Okay, so cool. here we go. Uh, Bucky 334, three miles east of X-ray 55. Okay, the point is ahead of me, so I'm too high. Uh, so I got to descend down to it. I'm using this intersection. 2,300 climbing, 4,500 north, south eastbound, mid low. Staying coordinated. Okay, it's moving behind me a little bit, so I'm going to pitch up some. There it is, right there. Perfect, about 750 feet on that end. Okay, so I'm going to fly level for just a period of time here, for a small period, about four seconds or so, and then I'm going to roll right into the next one here. I've got the Emory Riddle traffic in sight. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm using my altitude, my pitch to adjust my point on that. I'm a, it's a little ahead of me, so I'm going to push down. There we go. I'm not cheating it with my rudder. I'm staying coordinated. I'm not doing this to move my wing to it. Okay. So the point moved ahead of me a little bit, so I'll put fly down to it. There it is. Yeah, about 650 on this end. Was it just one of those uh, traffic or uh, electric line posts? Ah, uh, no, it's the corner of the trees on the road here. Perfect. Yeah, yep. that's like the yep. same thing. Yep, that exactly. I was looking at. So there we go. I'm staying coordinated. It's a little behind me now, so I gotta pitch up. Okay. There's a 45 degree point. We're going to roll out here for just a second. That would be the end of the check ride there, but I'm going to go around it one more time here. Be, uh, about five to the southeast of Massey. Okay. It's ahead of me, so I need to descend to it. You know you're doing it well if I could tell exactly what your point was. Yeah. Okay, it's ahead of me, so I'm descending to it. Descending to it, there we go not using the rudder, we're keeping my eyes outside the airplane, I'm looking around, looking around. Okay, it's moving behind me just a bit, so I'm going to pitch up slightly. Staying coordinated, staying coordinated, about 30 degrees of bank. Okay, it's pivoting right around there, I got somebody in my baggage compartment shooting it. Working perfect. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm comfortable with that, so, okay, good. Everything's up. Get the fuck out of this shithole. <laughs> I wonder what these people think me buzzing over their house all day. Yeah, and there were multiple planes earlier at the same time, so... Why do people pick this spot? I feel like there's other spots that you could go to. There is, but... I like, don't know. I'm not talking about you, because I know you did your training here, but, like, the other two airplanes that were here... Oh, right, why do they do that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's no coincidence if there's multiple airplanes. So are you going to Spruce Creek? I think so. I think we should get it out of the way. Awesome. I don't know. I could do... Well, wait a minute, though. No, I, I could do Flatless Landing into there tomorrow before my check ride. If you want to. Whatever you want to do. If you feel confident, then there's no need to go, but if I you're mean, shaky I, on it, then you should go. I, def I definitely need to do it before the check ride, but I could do it tomorrow morning on my way there. Um, I have time, it's up to you. <laughs> I, I better skip.
like that just because... There's some traffic coming up here. Yeah, I got to say here. Because I do need to get back at a decent time, and I want to... Uh, oh, yeah, you have a dinner, so... Yeah, I, that that took us longer than I was expecting, having to... Dodge all the traffic. Yeah. That was not fun. That's really frustrating. Major yeah. Charlie, 205 Tree Zulu observation, wind 250 at 6, visibility 10, clear, temperature 29er, dew point 10, altimeter 29er, 9er, 9er. ILS approach runway 9er left, and ILS approach runway 9er right in use, landing the parting runway 9er left, runway 9er center, and runway 9er right. Approaches are being conducted to parallel and intersecting runways. Use caution for numerous birds on and about the airport, notice to airmen. Runway 18 and 36 is closed except for taxi operations. Taxiway Charlie between runway 18 and 36 and taxi Taxiway Papa is closed. Taxiway Papa is closed. Taxiway Romeo between the Romeo ramp and runway Just doing it at the center. center. Runway What's up? Just doing it at the ninth center. center and taxiway Echo Clock was closed. Closed. Aircraft with wingspan more than I've, I've done that. I wanted to do it there just because it's such a unique place. Aircraft with the wingspan okay. more than seven nine feet. Tower light out of service three nautical miles northwest twenty seven feet MSL. Tower light out of service three point seven nautical miles west northwest two eight eight feet MSL. Clearance delivery is closed. All departures contact ground control 121.35. The tower frequency for runway 9 left is 120.3. The tower frequency for runway 9 center and runway 9 right is 135.25. All aircraft inbound to the Sanford Airport contact Orlando approach 135.3. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. Sanford Tower information, Charlie. 20. Rule 495, 3201. I don't understand what it is with these other airplanes. They come and they fly right on top of you. Yeah, you know I what I mean? Know. Like, Roger. 545, Claire Monroe. Claire Monroe, Bucky 545. And uh, we got this traffic in front of us. Is he with you? No, he's not with me. Bucky 464, contact Orlando 132.65. 132.6, Orlando approach Skyhawk 97650. We are 11 to the northwest of Sanford Information Charlie. Request Monroe. Send 97650? Yes, sir. 97650. 97650, squawk 0347-650. Good evening, Orlando Bruges, November 671, Mike Alpha, with you at 6,500. 671, Mike Alpha, evening, October 3001, what's your destination? 3001, Sarasota, sir, one Mike Alpha. One Mike Alpha, clear into the Bravo, proceed on course. Please inside Bravo, proceed on course, one Mike Alpha, thank you. Oh, okay. Look at this guy, he's been following us. Yep. I've, like. And that's the same guy that flew right over us. Five is inbound on the Jessup, looking for uh, two laps to pattern if able. Bucky yeah, 545, Sanford Tower, roger. Sanford Tower, good afternoon, Skyhawk 97650, inbound on the Monroe. Uh, request uh, two short approaches in the pattern, uh, not a full stop. November 97650, Sanford Tower, roger. Bucky Tree Tree 1, runway 9 or left, clear for the option. 9 or left, clear for the option, Bucky 331. Bucky 3, point hundred four nine left, Bravo 2, ready for departure. That is such a messed up, Mike. Bucky 310, Sanford uh, Tower, hold short, runway 9 or left, awaiting IFR release. Bucky 3, Bucky 3, Bucky 3, 1, 0. Fly runway heading, runway 9 or left at Bravo 2, clear for takeoff. He's still following us. That's ridiculous. Try to look for him. Altitude. A hot pursuit. 
I should slow down to an unreasonably slow speed to piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Oh, you're actually going to do it? <laughs> well, I was, I was hauling ass, but yeah, I'm going to slow down. 70 knots. <laughs> what type of airplane is it? Tis B. Ooh. Typically military airplanes have Tis B. Huh. Maybe it actually is a pursuit. I'm kidding. There's <laughs> nothing to worry about. I'm going to remember that tail number. 6, 8. I'm going to look it up. Lima Hotel. Alright, no, it's a Piper. Oh, it is? It's a PA-28, yeah. Oh, okay. Tree one zero flying zero five zero. Look at that boat. To your right. Oh yeah. Uh, November six so five fast. zero. Descend to pattern altitude. Uh, descend to pattern altitude six five zero. That thing is so fast. Yeah, it's a speedboat. You can tell. So yeah, I would do my. Okay, descent checklist, seat belts, fuel selector, mixture rich, lights as required, gauge the green, agency save off instruments. Number 650, number 2 behind Cessna, half mile final, short approach approved for OA9 or left, clear for the option. Okay, number 2 behind the traffic, which I have in sight, uh, 9 or left, cleared for the option, short approach approved, 650. Lucky Tree 10, contact Orlando departure. <laughs> The dude's still behind us. I guess yeah, he's doing the Lake Monroe. Flying the same approach, I guess, huh? Oh. I didn't hear him on the radio. I, I didn't either. I think sometimes their call sign doesn't match their tail number, though. Oh. Uh, so. Yeah. You're probably right. Okay, I get back up to altitude here. Turn my downwind. Bucky Tree 1, uh, correction, Bucky Tree Tree 1, extend upwind. Bucky Tree Tree 1, extending upwind, this will be a full stop. Bucky Tree Tree 1. Roger. Bucky 545, five. descend to pattern altitude. Descend to pattern, Bucky 545. 545, five. Yeah. that's got to be him. That has to be him. Okay, here we are, we're on my downwind. I'm going to go... Bucky 545, number 2, behind the Skyhawk, ahead and to your right, runway 9 or left. Clear for the option. Okay. Power right. Two, nine, clear for the option. Bucky 545. Pitch for 75. A little bit far out on that one, but... Bucky Tree Tree 1, left crosswind approved. Left crosswind approved, Bucky Tree Tree 1. Bucky Tree Tree 1, follow the Cherokee joining the midfield left downwind at 1,000 feet. Got it inside, we'll follow that traffic, Bucky Tree Tree 1. Bucky Tree Tree 1, number 3, runway 9 or left, clear to land. Number 3, 9 or left, clear to land, Bucky Tree Tree 1, thank you. Sentinel aircraft information, Delta is current at Sanford, altimeter 3000. Nope, long. Going around. Number 
November 650, extend upwind and squawk VFR, spacing for the short approach. Okay, extend upwind and squawk VFR, 650. Alright, just one approach. You've got this. Because, yeah, but I get one shot. If I miss it tomorrow, it's $800. Gone. Yeah, but don't worry about it. The night before my private pilot check ride, I was screwing literally everything up. And then I nailed my check ride. It was like a perfect check ride. I'm just not, I'm just not consistent enough with those. I'm just, it's just, I'm not consistent enough with them. And it just sucks. <sighs> Got it. I have faith. So how long of a check card is it? Probably about like what we flew today, I suppose. Okay. So, I gotta do all the same maneuvers. Do you think it'll be like the same order? Relatively, I think, yeah, something like that. So you're gonna pick him up in Spruce Creek, fly him over here, or fly out there, do the practice stuff, and then come here. Do the landings, yeah. And then drop him off. Yeah. Number 650, left crosswind approved. Turning left crosswind 650. Lucky 545, extend upwind and squawk VFR. Extend upwind, squawk VFR, Lucky 545. That's honestly like one of the youngest DPs I've ever heard of, like 55. Number 650, number two, behind a Cessna on a one mile left base. Short approach approved, probably nine or left, clear for the option. Okay, number two, behind the traffic, nine or left, clear for the option, short approach approved, 650. Yeah, I forgot about him. Uh. Ah. Hey, Hawk, ahead and to your left in the downwind. Traffic in sight, we'll follow them, Bucky 545. Wonder how he did it. Yeah, I don't know. That's super young. Build, build out the application. And, I don't know. Put got some got cash. Lucky. Yeah. Next to the application. Okay, I gotta go longer this time is what I gotta do. I gotta turn too soon. Lucky tree, tree one, turn right at Bravo three, contact ground, good day. Right on Bravo three, over ground, have a good day, Lucky tree two one, thank you for everything. You're welcome. Okay, I see the traffic, they're turning off right now, so that's good. Bucky 545, you're number two behind the Skyhawk, runway 9 or left, clear for the option. Number two behind the Skyhawk, 9 or left, clear for the option, Bucky 545. Okay, we're beam the numbers, car beat on, power idle, pitch for 75. One, two, three.
looking better this time. That is looking substantially better, isn't it? Yeah. made it. There we go. That, that worked better. Okay. Cleared us for the options. That means we can get off here. We're 650 done for the night. Yes, sir. We'll make this full stop. 650. Number 650. Roger. Contact ground. Have a good evening. Okay. Over to ground and uh, you have a good evening as well. 650. This guy go by first. Ground Allegiance 2282 at gate 10, ready to push. Yeah, 2282, push back on Charlie Proof. Charlie Proof, Allegiance 2282. And Sanford Ground, Skyhawk 97650 off of Niner left at Lima, Taxi Millionaire. That thing not working. That is M six five zero. Stanford ground taxi via Bravo Kilo. Right side hold short of Kilo. Okay, Bravo Kilo. Right side will hold short of uh, Kilo. Six five zero. Okay, after landing checklist, car peed off. Make sure lean flaps up. Lights as required. And Bucky five thirty six. Just uh, hold short of Kilo behind the Cessna. I'm sure to keep up with that, this is uh, Biggie 536. <laughs> That plane's lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, it is. Oh, that was a really, Lucky three, really stressful Stanford. flight. Ground maintain VFR at or below 1,500. Departure frequency 135.3. Like 035.3. 035.3. Okay, 317, we're back, correct. Traditionally Ground, speaking, Charlie, you want to sub Bravo 2 for the runway? The flight before your checkpoint. Bravo 2 is the general. The worst. Um, <laughs> intersecting that with you, but if you want full length, it's available. It's up to you. Yeah, we'll take full length. All right, 9 left, full length, taxi via Bravo. All right, taxi via Bravo, full length. You'll do well tomorrow, don't Charlie. worry about it. And let's see here. Bucky 321, continue taxi. In a taxi, Kilo, to the left. Bucky 321, good day. 1, Zulu Charlie, you can contact Tower 120.3. Copy, thanks. Bucky 536, continue taxi. Continue taxi, kill it to the ramp, Bucky 536. Right. 107650, continue taxi. Okay, continue to the ramp, 650. Upper ground, Bucky 543, at 45, requesting BFR to the southeast at 2500 with formation delta. Which numbers? Bucky 543. Alright, which direction? It will be to the southeast, Bucky 543. 543 Sanford Ground, maintain VFR at or below 1500, departure frequency 135.3, like 0334. Maintain VFR at or below 1500, departure frequency 135.3, and it's like 0334, Bucky 543. 543, read back, correct. Verify information Delta and safe position. We have. Delta spot five ready to taxi, Bucky 543. Bucky 543, start your taxi now, we're in Winona Center, taxi via Charlie Lima. 
Main Center, Charlie Lima, starting now, Bucky 543. Thunder. Ground, buggy 317, that's about one, right side. Ground, we're not on the Bravo 2, taxi, Bravo 2. 6-7, no, that's not no. him. Different one? Yeah, that was, the other one was, the guy was 8-8, Lima Hotel. Okay. That's him, right there. 686? Oh, is that 6? Yeah. At the end? Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, okay. It was 88 in a hotel. Orlando, November 1 Zulu Charlie with you, passing 1200 for 2000. Millionaire Skyhawk 97650. Millionaire, go ahead.